called it. One's on final or base or the runway. Okay, so it's 2,800 feet out to Buckhorn, then we climbed to 3,300, and then we got to go all the way out of the clear of the arc 2515 before we can climb. Okay. Engines in the green, amperage good, airspeed alive, there's 55. Base traffic, Euro 6 is at Buckhorn, last call, South Base traffic.
Delta number one zero Zulu, bus Delta transition evict the village first. Transition through uh, the field through for one zero thirty three. Until we, until we get out of uh. Okay, let's climb up to 6-5. Okay. 
703 Romeo Lima, additional traffic, 1 o'clock, 4 miles, southeast on altitude 7,800. Yeah, I, I did a reference of Edwards that, that time. Roger, six cycle delta. Yep. You, you said six five? Yeah, six five. Yeah. Class Delta Transition at Victorville to Bruce. 353, uh, squad, we have a transition. We'll go to your pool. What's that, sir? I don't think you heard me correctly. The Class Delta Transition at Victorville to Bruce, you can stay with me. 253. Mike, traffic calls 11 o'clock, two miles east on 9,300, Cessna 170, version 152, will begin a descent uh, shortly for landing. Right, one out for Mike is looking. 7353, traffic, 4 o'clock, two miles northeast on 7,500, Cessna 170. Looking for traffic, 353. Joshua, jet speed 221, descending via the Jani 3, Copa 1, 4000. Jet speed 221, Josh approach, Palm Bell, Tamir, 2995. Descend via the Jani 3 arrival, except maintain 8000. Descend via the Jani 3 arrival, except maintain 8000, jet speed 221. Traffic inside, I want off of mine. November 353, traffic has you in sight. Survivor. Are we still looking, Survivor? Joshua, Bonanza, 417 kilos, level 10,000, like to descend to 8,000 when able. 
missed a hair less right runner. There you go. Stop, okay, roll out. Slow. Nose down. And throttle back. Okay, you gotta be within 10 degrees. Okay, that's good. Now let's do some slow flight. Gonna continue on here probably once and then come back. Absolutely. Well, slow flight is a two. Sorry. So you wanna maintain the heading and altitude. Yep, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna maintain 6-4. Then. Okay, so I'll bring it back to about 15 or so. Or that's 15. Good. Yep, that's good. But the okay, when it's just just relax, take your time. Yeah, Roman 417 Kilo, I'm able to get uh, 8,000 yet. Go ahead and uh, keep keep holding the nose up if you lose altitude. 8,000, you're trying to 12 o'clock in. Okay, now full flaps, it's below 80, all the way down. Okay, descend, maintain 8,000, we're driving 170 kilo. Alright, right runner, and bring it up to around 2,000, maybe 21. We don't know, it changes every day. Start with 2,000, how's that working out? Pretty good. About 50. Alright, so you're going down a little bit, so you got to add a little power. And another, there you go, 21 today. Okay, let's make a turn, um, 180 degree turn. 180, gonna make it to the left. Okay. 10 degrees of flaps. I mean flaps. 10 degrees of bank. I notice how the air, if you're trying to keep the airspeed up. If you don't, if you don't pull it back, it loses. So you got to put power, a little bit of power in there on the turns. Okay. Go ahead and roll out now. The okay. Left power. Yeah. No. 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 Put. Put. Here. I want my airplane. Airplane. Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to hold it. Uh, see, let's put some lock in there too, okay? Okay. I see we keep losing altitude, right? So what we want to do is then make it at 22, right? Now at 22 at 55, it should maintain its its level, right? And it does. I know when I make a turn to the left, 15 degrees, right? I hold it at 55. I look out the window to see what it looks like, and I add another 50 RPM. All right, 50 RPM, we'll hold it right on the money. All right, as I roll out, I bring that RPM back. Back to 22, roll out, hold at 55, okay? All right, your airplane? My airplane. All right, your airplane. All right, now use the, use the artificial horizon for the these turns also, right? Okay. All right, so now that's what 55 looks like. So let's start a left-hand turn. We're going to go back to the west. 50 degrees of bank. Add some power. There you go. Okay, bring your power back and roll out. And nose up. It's fine. Looks like we're climbing here. We That's must have enough drift. Yes. So go ahead and pull it back a little bit more. There you go. Nose up a little bit to 55. Okay, let's do a right hand turn now and uh, we're going east. Right. And the right, a little bit of power. Yeah. Excellent. You know the routine for stalls, right? We're going to do an approach stall. So how do we handle that? Approach stall would be power off. And okay, let's I'll tell, you, tell you what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and clear the area again. So let's okay. do a slow flight to the left, and it'll be our clearing turn. Cool. Slow flight to the slow flight to the left. Okay, I'm clear on my side. I don't see anything. High and low looks clear. 
Oh, on this side looks good. Okay, let's start the other way. Okay, low looks good, nice and clear. High on this side looks good and horizontal looks good. Okay, let's just roll out then. And let's do an approach stall. So it's just it's, 15. It's, it's nose down to 65. Okay. Okay, when you get to 65, pull the power all the way back. There's 65. Okay, there you go. Slowly bring the nose up, slow, okay. Hold it right there. Now to hold it there, you have to have increasing back pressure. See how it slides to slide back? There you go. And hold it right there. When it stalls, pull power, right rudder, and nose up. You nose up at 65? Yeah, you want to get around 58 or 59. Okay. Uh, starting to roll up, and by the time you get to 62, you're, you're right there. All right. Okay, okay let's do that do one more again. time. So that's nose down. There you go. Nose down, then there. Power back. There, 65. Right. Up, hold it right about a little higher. Right, higher. Right there. And just keep pulling the back, pulling it back. And if it's, use the uh, ailerons for level. Okay, there's the stall. See, you gotta get right, little right rudder in there, right? Because the nose is gonna go off to the yeah. left, okay? Uh, let's try it one more time. Down to 15, down to 65. Good, hold it up there, increase the back pressure until it stalls, nose down, full power. That's good, now nose up. 60 and then nose up. There you go, perfect. perfect. Okay, let's go back the other direction. you're going to put a 10 degree bank to the left and the stall. You don't need to put the bank in until you're above the horizon, okay? Okay. All right, just keep the ball centered. Ready? Yep. All right, so, so put it nose down. Power back. Down, power all the way back. Hey, bring the nose up. Start the bank now. Okay, there you go. Pull it up, pull it up into the stall. Stall, nose down. And back up again. There you go. Excellent. Nose up. Hey, very nice. Cool. Okay, let's do one to the left the same way. And, and on, on that, do you have to stay within 10 degrees or is it just No, straight? well, it's a bank. They yeah. can't do it. It's okay. only the straight ahead stall. Makes sense. I'm going to go down. Five. Power's all the way out. There you go. Slowly bring it up. Start the bank now. Bring the nose up. All centered. Good. Looking good. There you go. Now bring the nose up. Hey, easy peasy, huh? All right, let's go to cruise. Now, when you do the demonstration for the stall to the uh, to your uh, check ride person, yep, you're gonna have to go a uh, complete recovery. So we've been doing just stalls, right? Yeah. So it's full power and then 10 degrees at a time. Okay, so so this right after yeah, the stall. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I wouldn't adjust it. I'm getting it a little faster. There's 110. Back to 23. Okay, now go ahead and trim it out. All right, let's climb back up to 65. Full power climb. Five four zero.
Okay, let's go into slow flight without the flaps. So we're going to pull it back to 15 again. Okay, now you're going to keep the thing from going down, keep your heading. All the altitude. Okay, just keep slowing down to 60. And when you get to 60, it's full power and fine. Up, nose up. There you go. Okay, full power. And we'll anticipate right rudder. And bring it up into a stall. Uh, keep the wings level with the ailerons and then directional control with the rudders. Okay. And pull up, pull up. There you go. And it's going to get into a stall right there. No, it's dead. All you got to do, that's it. All you gotta do is break the angle attack. You don't even have to go down. Okay. Just get it flat. Okay. Okay. Let's pull it back again. Pull the power back to okay. 15. Go back into slow flight. When did Shifty appear? Yeah. There's, there's about 60. Okay, go ahead and put full power, keep the ball centered. And start bringing the nose up. Okay. Nose up, a little more. And right there, let's hold it right there. Okay, there's the stall right there. No, see, just break, all you gotta do is break the angle of attack. Now notice it went to the left. Yep, so okay, we'll need a right. little right rudder. Okay, let's go back in the other direction. down to 60 again. This time I'm going to put 10 degrees of bank in. Don't put the bank in until you get it the nose up above the horizon. Power. Okay, now hold it right there, hold it right there. When we get down below the green, ready to put the bank in now. Okay, I'm going this way. Ball center, keep that ball centered. Pull it back, keep the ball centered. Pull it back, pull it back, and the ball is centered. All you gotta do is break the angle of attack. Okay, Boom. you're all set. Okay, now remember, the secret of doing this right is keep, keep that ball centered, okay? One more time to the left. Start the bank and the other way. There you go, left and bring that nose up. Bring it up, bring it up, ball centered. Bring it up. And there's the stall. See, when the ball is centered, it's a non event. That was better. Yeah. Okay. You just had an engine out. What are you going to do? It's out. Airspeed. Very 60. first thing is 68. 68. Airspeed 68. Trim it out. Okay, what's the next thing you're gonna do? Next thing, like by the checklist. That's it. Okay. Next thing would be to see if if uh, 
If the mixture is all the way out, make Nothing sure that's on here. both. Start here. Stay on both. In. Nothing wrong with that. Yep, nope, mixture's right. good. Come up over there. Maybe the fuel pump broke, so you've turned the fuel pump on. Fuel pump on. Okay. And you got fuel in the, in the fuel tank? Fuel tank's in the fuel tank. Looks like we've done everything the we can, right? On. The magnetos, magnetos are on. on. Okay. So, so that's that. So now you go back and you say, i got to do the shutdown procedure. And that is? That is. Make sure that's back, out. Go back to the very beginning. And now, you really do pull that out, right? Yeah, you pull it. You, all right. Then these are pulled back. Yep. Then you come up here at 7700-1215. ELT on. Over to the left is you just have to wait, right? Yep, you wait for the, that. Yeah, because you're going to do the master uh, later, right? Up at the end. That's right. So, Mayday, Mayday, we're going down. By, you know, we're 10 miles from Joe's Bar, and uh, yep. we need a, a ride, right? Okay, so that's good. Let's go ahead and uh, climb back up again. Climb back up to 65. Take a right-hand turn here. Okay, so you need to have you memorize that. Sit on the couch with that that form I gave you yep. and go over it several times. Uh, can we do it again going this way? Uh, the same thing? Yep. yep. Sure can. Do the same thing going this way. And, and then after after all that, you can't get the engine. You start to look for a, for a spot. Right. And you can consider that one a, a, a clearing turn. Okay. All right, ready? Yep. All right, fine. So, so the, the power goes back. You got an engine out. Now what do you do? First thing is 62, 63, 65. Okay, 68. 68. And they want the, the book says 68 at full gross. It's around 64 if it's a half a half loaded airplane. Okay, okay so that's trim 68. It yep, so just trim it. Make sure this is on both. Yeah. Make sure that's that's in. Make yep. sure that's not out. Then you. Uh, not yet. You got to remember. Oh, first thing is try to start it first. Yeah, you want to try to start it. Now, can you have gas? Yep. So make sure gas is in there. And the fuel pump. And the fuel pump's on. Okay. Uh, magnetos are uh, on both, or on one of them, okay. then it doesn't start. So after that, it doesn't start. Go back down. Go back down here, pull that, make sure the, both of these are off, pull right. cut off, and then 70, 7700. 7700. 7700, and then 12, 1 to 1.5. 1 1.5, saying mayday, mayday, I am. Right. ELT on. ELT on. Then what do you do? Then that's pretty, that's pretty much yeah, all you can it. do, then right? you can look for. Now you look for a landing site. Yep, which okay. is a lot of landing sites. Yeah, there are. Around here, definitely. Okay. Yep. Alrighty, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Why don't you take me over to William J. Fox? Okay. William J. Fox is over there. William J. Fox is, where's the ATIS, 126.3. Fox Tower Information Oscar, 2050 Zulu. Wind 230 at 17. Weather better than 5005. Temperature 20, dew point minus 7. Altimeter 29 or 9 or 6. Visual approach runway 24 in use. Warning, runway 24 short, 3500 feet available. Taxiway Alpha west of Gulf, Taxiway Hotel and Juliet closed. Advise on initial contact you have, Oscar. Cool. Yeah, the Emmys. Emmy, yeah, Oscars. <laughs> So I could head on over the turn at least. And then we call uh, Joshua. Yeah, Tom, you can call him right now. Time you go. Tell him we got. A, we're going to Fox, and we have Oscar. Okay. Joshua, approach November one zero six Echo Delta. Uh, going to be doing touch and goes at Fox Field with Oscar. Tower six Echo Delta, Roger. Contact Fox Tower. Contact Fox Tower six Echo Delta. So, so, approach Cozy 8-3 Mike Zulu, beginning of VFR. Cozy 8-3 Mike Zulu, Josh Approach, Palm Delta, 2 5 advise when you have attached in time. Descend. And, uh, um... Okay, why don't you, why don't you try to maintain this altitude? Oh, okay, I was gonna... And what so we're gonna do is we're gonna do an emergency it. engine up the last half, right? Okay. So you can land on 2-4. Alright, let's, so let's keep this altitude and I'll give, I'll give him a call. Are we on the frequency? Uh, 118. 1.25. Yep, that's tower. Okay. 
Salt Lake 25. You can't get the last one. 5 2. Pull the knob out. Of the hole? Yeah, there you go. There's 5 2. Okay, put it in. Okay. Okay. 5 2. On comp 2, yep. Yeah, okay, where are we? Where are we? We're about 6 miles to the northwest, West. right? Okay. Fox Tower, uh, Skyhawk 106 Echo Delta, five miles to the northwest. We'd like to overfly the airport at uh, 5,000 feet and do a practice engine out on 2-4, and we have Oscar. 106 Echo Delta, Fox Tower, Roger, report overhead the field. Report overhead the field, uh, 6 Echo Delta. So we're gonna fly over at 5,000. Yes. I'm about to descend about 250. Now remember, you always want to keep your landing site to your left, right, so you can see right. it. So when you fly over, you're going to be making left-hand turns. Okay, let's hold this altitude right the there. Power. Attention all aircraft, Fox Star information, Papa is now current, wind 24018, altimeter 29095, runway 24 in use. Warning, runway 24 shortened, 3,500 feet available to the east. Warning, Papa, we have Four Papa. Zero at eight. System 56 here, approved change, approved highway flight, Josh approach 124.55, if you like flight following. 124. Point five five four eight three five six zero. Thank you. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, you've got your engine out. Engine out. Okay, so now what do you do? Put down here, make sure it's on both. Make sure that's in. Make sure these aren't uh, out. Then make sure you have fuel. Have right. fuel, then fuel pump. Make sure magnetos are, are on. Okay. And then uh, can't start the engine. So pull out the shutoff valve. Okay. Both of these back. Right. 7700, 121.5. Right. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Over, I guess, Fox, Fox, uh, we're going to make emergency uh, landing at Fox, Fox Field. Except, you remember, you have to uh, trim this thing for 65. I want you to actually trim it. There you go. Everything else was perfect. Now, tell me when we're over the field, I can't see. Uh, we're, we're about maybe a mile two out. So we got, we got a little bit of time. Plus, we're going really slow now, so. So yeah, it's about 70, so a little okay. slower, so that's good. And then um, we'll be contacting Joshua since, not Joshua, uh, Fox, since we're already on them. And do we do it, we do, I guess we just do uh, left hand. All right, now you want to stay here drop with it. No, what you want to do is we'll start to, I'll, I'll talk you through it. Okay. okay. So you want to stay within gliding distance of the airport at all times, right? Yep. Okay. Just 106 second out there, wind 230 at 17, runway 24 short and clear for the option. Clear for the option, uh, runway 24, and we'd like to do right traffic after that. 76 second out there, roger, after your option, right close traffic is approved, report downwind. Report downwind, uh, 6 second out Okay, so we're coming down overhead. Yep, we're overhead just about in a bit. Okay, now take a look down there. What do you think? Um, we're high. Well, yeah. So, okay, so, so now I want you to show me your your judgment of, of distances by letting down as best you can, and we're going to land as close as we can to the uh, captain's bars. Okay. So, so there's two things when we get on final that you have to do. 
Which is open doors. Open so doors and, and, and right. a magneto. Magneto out, okay. Now you can do a combination of slips. You can put the flaps down early. You can do whatever you want. Remember that uh, you want to try to get as close as you can. All right, hold on, that's too close. Too oh, close, yeah. too, too close, so keep, yeah. keep going. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and start in. Now, let's try to get some flaps in there. Yeah, one flaps, be good. One flaps. Oh, that's 70. But it's 70. Oh, now, you, that's not in stone. You can do whatever you have yeah. to do, okay? All right, now, that power's all the way off. Do we have that fuel made? No, not so far. Okay, you let me know when you think you got the fuel made. Got the field made. Full flaps? So, full flaps? All the way down. All the way down. And nose down. Hold it right there. You can't do slips uh, with full flaps, so we just have yeah. to use the flaps alone. Okay, what's the two things you got to say? Uh, doors open and uh, mag Ma magneto. Master. Uh, master off. Master off, there you go. All right, now let's just put we'll this guy, uh, keep our, keep right in the ground effect. Keep in the ground effect. There you go. Now flatten out. There you go. Very nice. Let's pull power and let's go around. Pull power. I was like, oh, I'm trimmed out for for uh for sixty. Yeah, it's that's put exactly that back. right. Let's, yeah, yeah let's right. put that back. It was one to to take off. So uh, right hand pattern. Yeah. Pattern altitude is 31. 33, yeah, so. Yeah, 30, go, let's do 31. There's about 300 below. That one's clear. Hey, you can check Delta, runway 24 short and clear touch and go, wind 230 at 17. Clear touch and go, uh, 6 echo Delta. Very nice. Okay, then, uh, default nav. Right, there you go. 5 4, uh, you want to go right to 6. Oh, okay, six, so uh, zero, six, zero. Yeah, there you go. At 2,000, oh, a little wider, yeah. There's the threshold. Pain goes down. That's right, looking good, looking really good. Is that 45? Tell me when you're I went up on 45, there's 45. Okay, start going around and turn. And spear flaps. Okay. Now remember we got winds at 17, so we're gonna have to turn more than 90 degrees, right? Yep. But it's there you go. So I think it's 155 on here if you actually want to square it up, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's that road. Okay, so see how we're going that way, but we're pointing that way. Okay, all right, let's start on the final. At 70. Okay, good, now you hold A little bit of power. Okay. On the center line. Okay, now you're going faster, so you gotta bring that. Power back and nose yeah, up a bit. Because you're trying to get the nose down, I can see the airspeed going up, right? Pull off. To get it. There you go. Now don't take the power completely out. You're coming down. Alright, knock off the power bit. Okay, right there. Hold on right there. Just 
wait for it, wait for it. It'll come, it'll happen. It'll come down. Okay, flaps up. Go around. Okay, so now I'm gonna just sit here and I'm not gonna say anything to see if you can spot the problems and then correct them, okay? okay. strong headwind, that's why we're seen to be floating. Very nice, look at this. Oh, jeez. Get that nose down, Greg.
Fox Tower, Six Echo Delta is midfield for runway 24. Cessna Six Echo Delta, runway 24 short and cleared to option wind 230 at 16. Fox Tower, Cap 480, 17 northwest, uh, passing 8,500 landing Fox. With Papa. Six Six Echo Delta, clear for touch and go. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, because he, he went over me. Yeah. Cap 480 Fox Tower, make uh, right traffic runway 24, report down one of the beam. Right traffic 24, Cap 480. So you missed the first set of flaps on uh, when you got uh, 90 degrees to the... Oh, I did. I have 20 now. Uh, okay. I think as I was uh, talking, I went to go change it because I was about time to to uh, to turn. So, so I guess when when someone talks over you, you're not really mandated to. to well, uh, depends. Yeah, if it's a long conversation, it's all over you. Know you're cleared for the option. You're okay. supposed to answer back, but uh, if you're if you can't, then you can't. Okay, try to turn to the center line rather than to the numbers. And then I'm just turning, turning like all the all the other turns, and here it doesn't want to. Like that, you said, it floats. Yes, exactly. The nose down. Keep that nose. There you go. See the airspeed stays that up then. All right, now look down the runway. Uh, looks like it's 2-4. Looks like it's pretty much right on. So I guess when we go downwind, we'll do 6. Okay. 6, okay. One more, and then we'll have to uh, we'll try a slip. In fact, let's do a slip this time. Okay. All right. Flip it up, so be a little high. Yeah. We'll go out. We'll go downwind a little more. Okay. Uh, 
this is my move five, 888 Yankee Whiskey uh, coming from the south. Uh, we'll cross uh, midfield for right turn at Yankee Whiskey. Diamond 888 Yankee Fox Tower, make left traffic to runway 24. Remain on the south side, make left traffic to runway 24. Report down one beam. Uh, Roger, uh, we'll uh, keep high. back uh, left traffic for runway 24. Uh, remain on the south. Okay, yeah, go ahead and go ahead and do your slip. Uh, power up, power up, power up, and no power. No power. Right. There you go. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Transition to the other side. Let's go to the other side. Oh, oh nose down, nose down. Get that uh, speed around 70. There you go, looks good. On the center line. Okay, come out. Okay, 10, uh, yeah, another 10. Aircraft inbound from the east, taking their position and your call sign. Aircraft camper, 115 Sierra 5 Aircraft camper, 115 Sierra 5 Star, make straight in runway 24 and report a two mile final cross in the freeway. 115 Sierra, Roger. Oh, you can see that runway go flat. You know yeah. you're going down too fast. The wind probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I noticed, I was like, oh. A little less power, less power. There you go. Woo! <laughs> okay, flaps up longer. and let's go. This one's going to be a go-around. Okay. Seven six echo delta, extend your upwind. I'll call your uh, right cross when you're going to be following a sky lane currently one and a half miles to the west northwest at three thousand. Extend upwind uh, six echo delta. Somewhere. Air camper one one Mike's here. I see your uh, how far out are you now? There he is. Oh, oh I see him. Air camper 11 Mike Sierra, Roger, runway 24 short and clear to land, wind 230 at 18. Yeah, well, Mike I haven't crossed your highway yet. Air camper 1 Mike Sierra, that's fine. That's fine. You're still clear to land. I got you out there now. Okay, yeah, he's trying his, uh, yeah. flight. Cap 480, your number 2, following an experimental, uh, on a 3 mile final. Cat 480 searching, we're uh, midfield downwind uh, for right uh, 24. November 88 Yankee, you're going to be number three following a sky lane on the north side, uh, beam midfield. We'll follow a sky lane, uh, Yankee Whiskey. So when he says this, it's dead. Six Echo Delta, you can go ahead and make a uh, right crosswind now. You're going to be number four following a oh. Diamond Star on the south side. Uh, Approaching the numbers. Number four, six second Delta, or two four. So when, uh... Okay, we gotta start counting airplanes now. Yep. Cap 480, your interval okay, is on a two mile final mile. Well, he's uh, just about coming over Sierra Highway, air cushion, uh, the 14. Cap 480, searching. So there's gonna be three ahead of us, so we just gotta count them. Where the, I think the other guy went, he uh, flew over the runway. So he's yeah, probably he's, on he's straight side. ahead. There's one oh, guy there. Him. Diamond Star 88 Yankee, do you have your interval in sight? Is it your 9 o'clock and about a mile and a half at 3,200 uh, paralleling you on the downwind on the north side? I uh, have the traffic sight, uh, Yankee Whiskey. Diamond Star 88, 88 Yankee, roger. Okay, we're coming a little closer. If we go, we're Cap 480, your interval is just passing off your right. Greg, look, on look a, how far uh, away we are. Final. Do you see him? Oh, okay, well. Oh, we're following him, aren't we? Yeah, no, we, we forget him. Okay. Cat 40, Roger, I'll call your turn in just a minute. Uh, I want to give him a little bit more room because he is a little bit slower. All right, they're going to hold it right there. Just want it, we want it. We'll let, we'll let him come around. Come we'll hold it 31. Cat 40, say again. There he is. I think Cat 40's got a third interval in sight. Cat 40, Roger, with that interval in sight. Oh, number two, runway 24 short and clear to right. land, wind 230 at 17. And the aircraft you're following is also a full stop. Yeah, 40, 
Apache number two, clear to land, two four. That's one. Cessna six Echo Delta, your interval is on the south side on the downwind. He's on the extended downwind, but your interval is on the south side. Oh, okay, we're looking for traffic. Six Echo Delta. We got one guy coming in. Apache Yankee whiskey, standing left to base. Eight uh, Yankee negative negative. Uh, make right turn to extend on the downwind. Your number two, following a Cessna that's heading to your left now. Correction, heading to your right. I want you back on the downwind. So make a right turn to the downwind. Uh, we'll make a right turn to the downwind, Yankee Whiskey. Cap 40, are you in the uh, crosswind now or base turn? In the base, turning the I see the final for Cap 40. Cap 40, Roger. Go uh, on, uh, one. Okay, yeah. 88 Yankee, your number two following, your number three following the Cessna. That's on a right base, just off your left wing. Uh, Damn, have the got him. Okay. Uh, Yankee with the uh, wheel turn uh, left base now. Yeah, yeah, oh, there's that guy right there. Number 88 Yankee, negative. Just go ahead and extend that one. I'll call your, uh, I'll call your base. Uh, Roger, we extend uh, that wing, the uh, Yankee. Uh, There's three, and it, we're, yep. we're going to follow that guy. That guy? Yeah. Keep, keep an eye on Echo Delta, go ahead and make a right turn to the base now. I'm going to put you inside that uh, Diamond Star. Inside? Uh, six Echo Delta, Diamond Star in sight, and we'll uh, turn to base. Diamond Star, Eden Yankee, continue on the uh, up on the downwind. I'll call your base. Uh, you got it, Craig. Uh, Roger, continue at my wing. Hey, Jake, you're good. Uh, let's head for the uh, center line. Where would it go? Okay. Fox Tower, Director News, County Fire 16 with you. We're about seven miles to the southwest of the field. I'd like to transition the south end of your class delta and around the AV Hospital. County Fire 16, Fox Tower, Roger, transition proof. Fox altimeter is 2995. 995, and we should remain south of uh, Mira Loma. Okay, it's still a good time to do it. Uh, uh, go around. We're make a left turn to the base and uh, to final now. You're number three following that Cessna that's on a uh, three mile final. Uh, turning left to base. Okay, let's uh, go up a little three, bit. Uh, we'll follow the Cessna. Then you got the four red lights. Okay, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Then we'll, we'll climb to the other side. Two, two whites and two you. reds. We'll make sure, thank you. We'll go around with B-15. Yeah. Offset to the right. right. Okay, what? Another guy back in here. Yeah, that diamond. Yeah. Okay, there's one. One. Okay, let's get configured now. It's going to come up two here in any second. Yep. And we'll pull the power back. Yeah, there's to two. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, now. One flip. Hold, yeah, just hold it there. Now, what you've got to do is just mentally take that downwind and all those maneuvers and kind of stretch them out and then decide where that would be if you brought it around to your present position. Okay. I think that would be about at the, the road, the road uh, perpendicular. Okay. Good at 80. Okay, so we're going down again, so we had a little more power. Back to two white ones. Cap ready, turn left taxiway Delta right on Alpha Taxiway Fuel are parking this frequency. Have a good day. Delta Alpha, we'll be going to fuel pits. Thanks, good day. County Fire 16, we're landing assured at uh, AV Hospital. We'll take for Fire 16, Roger, thanks. About, yeah, about another, another flaps. Okay. Okay, this is going to be a go around. Okay, go around.
Now I'm going to put full flaps in there. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay, go around, go around, go around. Now see how the airplane wants to nose up? Yep. All right. Six second Delta doing uh, go around. Six, six, six second Delta, Roger. Right close traffic is approved. Report that one. Report that one, six second Delta. Okay, not so much, just kind of go around. Fox Power, number five. There you go. Yankee, whiskey, uh, my number one. There you go, let's bring them up ten at a time. Fox Power, sorry, Yankee, whiskey, affirmative, you're now number one, runway two four short and clear two land, wind two three zero at one six. Uh, runway two four clear for land, I think whiskey. Okay, Greg, we'll do one more and we'll go back. Okay. Gain some speed here. There's 80. Now we've done the low altitude work, right? It turns around a point? Yes. Lot? Okay. Only once, though. It only happened once. So I might need some more. A little bit more practice. Uh, well, okay then. Maybe. Uh, we can do it now. Let's go down and do a touch and go. Okay. We'll do a. A uh, straight out, well, is he straight out? No, we'll do a standard right departure. Okay. That, and then downwind. Okay, 55 or 60. So right, come right to 60. The Don't higher want. numbers are to the right. Okay, downwind, touch and go. Fox Tower, 6 Echo Delta is downwind, touch and go. System 6 Echo Delta, number 2, following Diamond Star on 3 quarter mile final. Uh, number 2, 4, 6 Echo Delta, traffic in sight. System 6 Echo Delta, Roger, that traffic is a full stop here, number 2, runway 24 short and clear touch and go, wind 230 at 18. Clear touch and go, runway 24, number 2, four, 6, six Echo Delta. Okay, now he told you that it was he was a full stop. Yep. So that means that we need to give him a little more room. Okay. We're gonna go out just a little bit. Yeah. Okay, we we're good here. Yeah, like a touch and go, he just hits and he's off again, yeah. right? But this guy, if he's a full stop, he has to slow down and get off on the one of the uh, taxiways. This is the first one, he's got to go all the way down to the second one. Delta route and Alpha Taxi to Fueler Parking. This frequency, have a good day. Uh, so that bail uh, taxi will stand there parking. Have a good day, Eddie and QC. System 6 Echo Delta, Roger. After your option, you can expect that. So standard would be to do a crosswind and then departure on downwind? No, you, you climb up to pattern altitude or to the, you know, where you normally turn, right? 300 below pattern. Make a right, a 45 right uh, departure. So that's straight out, crosswind, standard. Okay. Sideways. Remember, you got to land straight. Yeah. Okay, right there. there you go. So if the nose goes off to the right, you got to push that left rudder to get it lined up with the center line again. Okay, go ahead, straight out. After you solo, we're going to start working on shorts, softs, and crosswind landings.
There's a... Okay. So 45 degrees from 24 is like... like three, is like 290. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's 305. Oh, okay. So, little, oh. There you go, right there. Down the you looking for transit parking? That's too much. Yeah, there we go. Down the you can see transit 240, 50, 60, 70, 80, 285. Other side of the two trucks over there that are next to that red, black And we're heading, see those, uh, uh, tanks over there? Yep, we're gonna head there. Let's continue to climb. Give you a scenario and then you then you're gonna solve it, right? Okay. We're gonna go up to four. Yeah, just get, yeah four. That's good. Okay, one, two, four, five, five. So I want to monitor what's going on. Velocity winds when they get clouds like that. Little caterpillar looking things. Yeah. As the wind's coming up over a mountain and it's being pushed, it, it, it won't rise. It's global November 8 at 8, still live up for descent one. It's actually stable air. It goes over the mountains, but it's got moisture in it, so it has a row of, um, like that's where the uh, moisture starts coming out. Then it gets colder, it gets colder than the air around it, so it starts to drop down again. And that's why you have little little uh, ridges between the clouds. Huh. One, two, seven, seven, six, uh, six, seven, 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 all right, that should give you a hint. Now you want to come in downwind, right? Yep. All right, so I'll, I'll tell you when to go down. And Joshua, Gulfstream 558, Gulf Alpha, with you just out of 195, uh, descending via the Garora 1, except descending to 14,000. Gulfstream 558, Gulf Alpha, Joshua, 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 Gulfstream Okay, so you're flying along, all of a sudden, you smell smoke, right? Yep. You go, oh man, there must be a short underneath the dash. And you start seeing more smoke. Now, what are you going to do? Going to turn off uh, avionics and master. You could do that, but now there's already uh, smoke coming up 
Lots of smoke coming up. Oh, it's up too late window. for that. Open up the window. No, pull the power, I'll be back. I'll pull it back. And then you want to start the steam turn, right? Uh-huh. And you go down, and you want to go down all the way to 45 degree bank, and the airspeed is going to go down into the yellow. Down here, right? Okay. Let's see how we're going down. All the way right there, all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. There you go. And then we'll start to come out of it. And you would find a place to land, like the road here, okay? Okay. All right, so, so your airplane? My airplane. So go ahead, and we'll go back to the, we're going to do turns around a point. So the, the speed is to clear the air, or what is what is the speed? Yeah, or, you, you, or you have down. to get on the ground. You know what's going on. The, the bottle, you can't be squirting, go back the other way. And let's go down to, uh, what are we, 3,100 3, feet. 31? Yeah. Power back. Power back. So it's just like, I don't know, I don't really know what's going on. We need, we need to yeah, get on the ground. Yeah, exactly. You need to get on the ground because there's smoke coming up and, and uh, we don't know whether it's going to start fires or whatever. Okay. Makes right, sense. So, so there, let's go down this road here. Yeah. It's right ahead. Uh, the wind is coming like from like this direction, so you want to start into the wind, right? Yep. Oh, I'm sorry, that's wrong. You're supposed to start downwind, but that's okay. Just go ahead and do it. Downwind, downwind would be probably on this side. Yes. It, okay. Yeah. We're kind of downwind now, anyway. Okay. So now we're going to turn around a point. Let's go down to 3100. 31. There you go. Now let's. Let's go around those tanks with an even real estate all the way around, okay? Okay. And with the winds today, it'll show up more. Yep. I think last time we did it, it was uh, about zero wind. Yeah. So let's, now we can do the see. Yeah, see how we're, we're canted? Yep. All right. So this is a very, very flat turn now. You're going to go to that intersection. So just kind of think, my pathway should be like that. No, no, you're turning too much. Trying to get to that intersection with the same distance from the tanks, right? And now, we, now we're canted the other way, right? Yep. Kind of. Yeah. So now we're going to go over our little uh, little diamond thing over there, right? Yeah. Okay. So now we start. Same distance all the way around. here and this is the side that has a steep turn right yep because the wind is That's pushing you pushing you that way exactly so we're going to try to cross here at 90 degrees at least not 90 degrees with the airplane but 90 degrees from our ground track okay, okay now yep. this one see how i have to bank it over a little bit more yep because you're going faster yeah exactly okay ready yep. your airplane my airplane all right give me give me over that intersection flatten out there you go and you can kind of see how we're kind of Drifting into it, right? Yep. Good. This is perfect. Now more than 90 degrees. Okay. Now, now this is going to be the challenge here. Come around. Yeah, that's right. Okay. It nose up a little bit because you're losing a little altitude. That's too much. But now, let the wind push you. There you go. Okay, now let's start a, a steep, little steeper turn here. And then you're going to have to start flattening out right, right about there. He nose up a little bit. There you go. Okay, let's do some S turns. S turns along this road here. Road? Yep. Okay. Same altitude. Same altitude. Ish, so yep. th that going back to 30, 31. Yeah. Not too much bank here. This is a very shallow bank. See how, see how close we are to the road? Yeah. You're gonna have the uh, uh, hard problem making that same distance on the other side. 
So this is a very flat turn on this side. Dave, now we gotta go back over. We gotta cross that thing at 90, 90 degrees. Then you come around like this, pulling back on the nose, cross it at 90 degrees. Then you bring the nose up. Now this one is gonna be a little tighter turn, right? Yep, yeah, because the wind is yeah. full. Yeah, so there's, there's a little tighter turn there. We're coming around, coming around. This one is going to be a shallow turn. And now we see how we have a constant change all the time. We're changing, changing, changing. Okay, now this one is a nice slow turn. Easy. You see how nice and flat it is? Just keep it flat. Keep it flat. Okay, now the wind's blowing us, so we got to start increasing okay. our bank, right? And even increase it even more. Let's get oh, look at that, more, huh? more. Yep. Okay, now we cross over at 90 degrees, and this one is the same thing, right? We start a, a tight turn here, and then when we get to this point, we start flattening out. There you go. You got it? Yep. Ah, just keep coming around. Okay, there you go. A little more bank. Okay, now stop flattening it out. Joshua, uh, Omega, when the zero heavies with you, we're out of uh, one eight keep, zero. Keep taking it out, keep taking the bank out. Taking it out. There you go, and you cross it 90 degrees. Okay, this is a flat turn. 90, then just barely. Yes. Something like that. Right. And then as you get around to the other side of the turn, it's more bank again. Got your approach. Uh, Omega one zero heavy. Get the nose down. Okay, now start the turn. Bank, more bank. There you go. So you constantly put in a little more bank and constantly take it out. Okay. All right, see, like this one is really, it's, see, so you have to keep putting more and more in. And then you roll out right at 90 degrees. And then this one here, there you go. Okay, let's go back to uh, Edwards. You got the idea, right? Yep. All right, let's go back to Edwards. Okay. Go full. Full power. And let's take our, get our map back up there so we can see if we're gonna, okay. We don't want to go in the Delta airspace. Don't go back. So let's go up to 3,500 feet. Okay, so I want you to track down one of these roads, okay? Okay. Let's see if we can track the fault nav. Okay, it's, so we know that that's 60 degrees, right? Yep. So I should say 60 on there. Let's see, let me let me see. I think it's, what's opposite of 270? Uh, I mean, uh, 2... 250, right about there. 65. Well, 65? Yeah. Okay, go down to 3,500 feet. Okay. Okay, so we're going to be at 2,300 RPM at uh, 45. And then uh, we need to get set up for the radios. So be uh, Edwards Tower 120.7 is in there, so I'll just switch that. Okay. Uh, we're not using it, so I'll switch it now. Okay, this is what's known as tracking, right? So you're tracking yep. down the road, 
You can think of the road as a BOR signal too. Yeah. So nav one, you, you press the button. You press the button and put in nav one. There's okay. nav one. There's that, so it should be in there. 160, 116.4, yep, should be in there. So that, that would be a straight track to uh, the VOR. That's right. Now, can you know how to use the direct two? Uh, yes, you put the press the direct. Okay, yeah, there's a couple ways you can do it. Let's go back okay. and uh, cancel. So now we say, let's say nearest. So I hit nearest. And then you want airport. And you, let's just say CL40. So you hit CL40. Okay, and now you want to go direct, hit direct two. There's CL40, hit activate. There you go. Oh, cool. Right to 163 now. Yeah, that's right. Right now. Now! Alright. Okay, the last part of this thing is uh, how to get into Edwards. Alright. They want us to they want us to now come over the pond. See those ponds over there? Yep. So we're gonna head over to the ponds. Always? Like yeah. any yeah, any from now on we're gonna go over the ponds. Alright. Oh, four, that was, uh, four, I could help yeah. there. At Bakersfield? Now they want to contact, uh, base. Oh. Yeah, we can do it. Coming one through Eddie, Roger. Uh, Eddie, So I beat you up today. I put you through everything. You did. That was uh, that was good, especially the uh, around the point because I think last time you did it, like I said, it was zero wind. Yeah, that's right. So it didn't even really. Okay, so we're going to descend into 2515. They want us to come in just like we came out, 3300 feet. Okay. So we'll descend down to 33. Three. And go over the ponds, and then um, I'll show you what to look for. See where um, the dust is? We're going to yeah. kind of head in that direction. Go back to 2300 RPM. And hold it at 2300, 2300 feet. 35 miles. Or 5 miles. East, uh, so now we get uh, a. Yeah. So. There you go. You just say uh, Edwards traffic, uh, 106, 106 X Delta, Buckhorn arrival at the ponds. South Bay traffic, number 106 X Delta, Buckhorn revival, revival, arrival at the duck, duck, duck ponds, South Bay traffic. So we're basically going along the shore here, and, you know, just kind of like, we have to be uh, like a half a mile to a quarter mile south of uh, Buckhorn. And, and uh, what about the, what about, I think Lancaster arrived? You have to go in the... You know, Lancaster is a different uh, different departure. Okay, so that was, that's that. That's yeah. Just for uh, Buckhorn, you would do the duck ponds. Right, okay, so when we get to the, uh, to the uh, east shore of the dry bed, 
we're going to come to the right a little bit more. Um, we're going to descend down to 2800, okay? Okay. Okay, come to, just come to the right a little bit more. All right. Yeah. And start your descent right about here. Now off to your left, you see the uh, those, uh, what looks like grape stakes sticking up? Yeah. Okay, we're going to be just, just to the right of those. Down to, to 28? Yes. Okay, if you look out in the distance, you'll see our road that we came out on, right? Yep. All right, we're going to be just to the right of it. Okay, then you announce that the uh, radar dome. Uh, base traffic, arrow 6 is at the radar dome. Call call out arrival for runway 26, 24, south base traffic. Then we enter on, uh, on our downwind. slow down at this point, right? No, 2,000 RPM. Oh, 2,000? Yeah, always 2,000. Okay, then what you do is you bring the nose up as it slows down. So then you maintain altitude. So tri and trim it out, actually, physically trim it out. Okay, you're losing it. No, no, nose up, nose up. Get that altitude back. There you go. Now go ahead and trim it.
now it's when you turn base too. South base traffic, arrow six is turning left base to runway two four, south base traffic. I keep forgetting to have you do that GUMPS checklist. That gas undercarriage mixture. Mixture rich and then, well, yeah. mixture good. Awesome. A little bit of altitude on that turn. Watch your airspeed. Okay, you're gonna have to leave the power in because we got quite a headwind. Yep. Okay, turn to the center line. South base traffic, arrow six is on final for runway two four, south base traffic. Always. Yeah. You want you leave that. it, just leave it right there at okay. twenty. But sometimes it goes all the way to full. Yeah, I know. There you go. Okay, now if the nose of the airplane points to the right, you use the left aileron, right, right, left rudder, okay? Okay, I'm looking at the wind is coming yeah, pretty much down the runway. Okay, bring it back just a little bit more, the power. Okay, hold it right there, steady. Just now use your feet to keep that nose pointed. And then, go, oh, just hold it right there, hold it right there, yeah, right there. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so you don't want any, like you had around 1400 RPMs. That's a little bit too much. Put it around 12, okay? Okay. And that'll, that'll give you enough uh, time to play with the elevator. After landing, wing flaps up. Extra lean, make sure it's good. Lights is required. Strobe and beacons are still on. Transponder 1200. Now yeah, we're gonna leave. Yeah, 1200. Yeah. And leave 1200, it on alt. Leave it on alt. Yeah. Rough. Uh, flight control set for wind. Okay, so the wind, wind is coming from. Uh, oh. Yeah. Now yeah. we're here. So that okay. way. Radio calls required. On some on comp. South base traffic. Arrow six is clear. Of runway two four. Taxiing to parking. South base traffic. And then close the flight plan. Five, calm two. Uh, uh, we're just gonna have to do this guy with 50. That's the right one. He is oh, no. two zero to send so to the Johnny it's three. Close. Easier. One two, one twenty two point four. There you go. Riverside Radio, November one zero six Echo Delta, listening one two two point four, Ryan Mountain. Gasoline. Gasoline. Clear left, clear right. November 1060 Elko Delta, Riverside Radio. Uh, go ahead, see request. Yes, we'd like to close my flight plane out of Edward 6 Echo Delta.
November 1-0-6L to Delta Riverside Radio. Roger. Flight plan uh, Edwards to Edwards is closed. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, 6 Echo Delta. Okay, so... There's 6 Echo Delta, thank you. Good day. Good day. Okay, Greg, you uh, you get together with somebody and get your check, and then we'll solo you. Cool. Finally, huh? Finally, yep. Getting there. <laughs>